Hello, and welcome to the second in a regular series of technical training video podcasts, brought to you by ANSYS Training. In this podcast, I'll give you a step-by-step guide explaining how to publish an iPhoto album to your own custom website. If you do have any suggestions for future podcasts, then do feel free to email your ideas to podcasts at amsys.co.uk. To get us started, let's take a look at the four main steps required to get your pictures onto the web. The first step will be to create an album from a selection of pictures in your iPhoto library. We will then set up a .Mac account via Apple's website. After this, we need to connect to your iDisk, which has been made available by the .Mac subscription from Apple, and copy the selection of photos from your computer. And finally, I will demonstrate how to create the website and publish your pictures. So we'll begin by launching iPhoto, which you can either do from the dock as we're doing in screen, or going to the Applications folder and uh, clicking on the iPhoto icon. Once the program is loaded, just click on the small plus button down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, which will allow us to create a photo album. I'm going to call the album France Training. After this, just select the pictures from your iPhoto library that you want to use on your website and simply drag and drop them into the new photo album. Then just pick your new photo album, click on share at the top of the screen and select export. A pop-up window appears. Just click on the export button on the bottom right hand corner and simply choose where you want the copy of the pictures to go. To keep it tidy I'm going to make a new folder and call it web page pictures. You don't have to do this, this is just to keep it more organised. Once you've selected your location click on the OK button and the pictures will then be copied to that new location. This exporting step isn't absolutely necessary but I do find it easier when organising the pictures I'm going to be publishing. For the next step, we need to sign up for a .Mac account with Apple. So if you launch a web browser and go to www.mac.com, click on either free trial or join now, and then complete the registration screen. Then simply click start using .Mac, and then enter your new username and password. After signing up for .Mac, we then need to connect to the iDisk to upload the pictures. So let's run through this now. Start by clicking on System Preferences from the Apple menu in the top left corner of the screen, selecting .Mac and then entering the new name and password you just created on the .Mac registration screen. After you've entered your name and password, press Return and your details will then be validated. And once the account has been recognised, you can then quit the System Preferences. Next, open a new Finder window, either from the File menu at the top of the screen or pressing Command N on your keyboard. With the new Finder window open, click on iDisk from the sidebar and then double click on the Pictures folder. Now you need to open the folder that has your previously exported iPhoto pictures. In this example it's just the web page pictures folder that's sitting on the desktop. And now I'm going to choose Select All from the Edit menu and then simply drag and drop the pictures into the iDisk pictures folder. Don't forget that this might take some time depending on the speed of your internet connection and that with most broadband providers, the upload speed will be around a quarter of your usual download speed. When the upload of your pictures is finished, launch a web browser and go to www.mac.com. We will use Apple's homepage feature for the final design of the website. Just click on the homepage link at the top of the screen and then enter your .mac username and password. After being successfully authenticated, you'll be allowed to edit the design of your web page. Next, we need to pick a theme. So for this example, I'm going to pick travel. You will then be asked to pick the folder which holds your images on your Apple iDisk. And as you can see, as it's already picked the pictures folder, I'm just going to click on choose. The next screen lets you enter a title for the website, so I'm just going to enter AMSYS Training, CAN for the location, and then a brief message, so I'm just going to put in Apple Summer Camp 2005. After you've entered the text that you want, just click on the preview button in the top right hand corner of the screen. As you may have guessed, this will just give you a preview of your final design. 
If you are happy with the outcome, then just click on the publish button. And that's it. You now have your very own custom online photo album. You can click on the link provided just to take a look at the website. This is a complete live version of the website, so just take a second to see how it looks. The main page lets you browse through thumbnails of the images, and you can click on any of the pictures just to see a full size version. Well, I hope that you found this iPhoto video podcast useful, and please stay tuned for future podcasts from AMSYS Training. Thank you.